afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. What's up, guys? It's Cryptic over here on Cryptic Gaming Network and hashtag Do You Even Cod? I'm coming to you today to talk to you about Call of Duty 2016. What is going on with that? Well, as we know, for the most part, we're pretty much confident that it is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I'm going to take you through this last week of all the information we have acquired through leaks that I believe Activision purposely made happen. And if so, everybody else out there, this is how you should promote your games because it was amazing if this is, if this, if this is what they intended. Alright, we're going to start off with Monday, I believe. The vendors, the retailers got these things that said, that talked about when to change out their ad campaigns, their, you know, merchandise campaigns. And it said on 5-3-2016 to change out the Star Fox thing for a Call of Duty reveal one. So that led us all to believe we're going to get a trailer this Tuesday on the 3rd. Within 12 hours, PlayStation had a leak that w was supposed to seem unintentional. When they updated on Tuesday, the trending section of the PlayStation Store said Call of Duty Infinite Warfare up top. It was a blank screen. It only said on the top of the left-hand side and the very top of the right-hand side of the screen. No information. It didn't stay for long. PlayStation took it back down almost as fast as it went up. It didn't stay for very long at all. Now, the next piece of information is courtesy of charlieintel.com, and he found this leak, and it looks like another piece of promotional media thing for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the Legacy Edition. I'm not going to get into the Modern Warfare Remastered part that it said also includes. That's for another video, but that's an awesome idea if that turns out to be legit, but I believe it is. I really do. The last thing they did, because this Charlie Intel thing, I believe, was on Thursday, Friday, Treyarch updated their Black Ops 3. What changed? Some stuff in Nuketown changed. And it was like, I didn't even know about it. I'd been off the game for a couple days, not paying attention, and they changed. The first thing they did was this wall run spot. They changed this wall run spot. Now, all these changes, 90%, I'd say, of all players didn't even notice them at all. It wasn't until people went back and really looked for these Easter eggs. Now, this big-time YouTubers who are Call of Duty players, big Call of Duty YouTubers, they probably noticed them almost immediately. And bravo to them. I'm behind the curve. But I kind of wanted to put all this information in one thing. Right there is the first poster you find besides the wall run thing. There's actually two posters in there in this map in Nuketown and that wall run spot that are there the entire time. That wall run spot talks to you randomly. It's got an audio file from a l later teaser that's leaked from Call of Duty from Activision on this game. But the second poster's upstairs in this building. I was looking around for it, and there it is. Second poster. Those two posters were not here. The wall run spot did not look like that. It was like, what is going on? And it's like, what are they leaking? This, was, this happened Friday. All right? They had these things. Now, I come down here and I captured this spot so I could win the game. And, you know, I didn't know if it drew, if I had a draw, if it would end this way. I just, I didn't know what would happen. I just figured you had to have a winner. Now, right here, above this line where I'm firing my gun at, I want you to look very closely when I end this game. If you haven't seen this already, this is where something is going to show up in the ending scene. Where that bomb typically blows up at. Look through there in the skyline, all right? I'm going to end the game here and show you what happens. It's going to start off not being anything different. Uh, the game ends, you know, round win, victory. Not a big deal, right? Well, then you go to the scene after you do the little taunt scene with the top three people. Right here, though, audio starts cutting in that you don't recognize. It's kind of like, what is going What is that? What is going on? I'm not going to play the audio for you yet because you're going to see it in the next clip. Alright? But right here, when it cuts away and it goes to the Nuketown explosion, watch what happens. Look what is in the sky, people. 
there is a massive spaceship. The logo and skull appear. Now watch this next video. This Take day, no mistake. We will rip it's you from the history Saturday. box. Every last trace of you gone. You will know loss. Kind of creepy. We will be the Guys, architects I will bring of you your pain. Update we as it comes will build monuments out. to your destruction. But I am going to leave you guys with the rest of this. And I will see this. you hopefully on, on Monday or we Tuesday. We will blot out your skies. We will bury you in darkness. Know this and know us. We are your enemy. We are the settlement defense front.